Welcome to the Double Down Thursday, the kickoff for the Monster Jam World Finals 18. We're coming to you live on Facebook from the Sam Boyd Stadium in Las Vegas, where tonight will feature one of the most exciting and intense nights of competition ever with the Double Down Showdown for the Rising Stars in Monster Jam, along with the official qualifying for tonight's World Finals racing bracket. And I'm Taylor Mock. And of course, I am in the best spot in the house for Double Down in the stands with the most incredible fans in the world. Ryan Lacoste, Leslie Mears, Michael Navarro, and I are excited for all that is happening right now, live on Facebook. Fans in the stands, go ahead and tune in now. Just go to Monster Jam's Facebook page. That's facebook.com forward slash Monster Jam. Fans here in the stands who have purchased the exclusive Double Down Pass have already an experience, an incredible day in the pit party. That is the world's largest Monster Jam pit party. That was this afternoon, and now it's tonight. Tonight is the night. This is the Double Down Showdown here in Las Vegas, and we're ready. I'm Michael Navarro across the stadium with from Taylor, and of course I'm here with so many fans that cannot wait to see how the drama is going to unfold this evening. During tonight's Monster Jam Live on Facebook, we're going to take a look at the previous facts and sets from the Double Down Showdown. Of course, we're going to hear from some of the previous winners from the event. We're going to take a tour of the fastest and most story track in all of Monster Jam history and of course much much more but right now we want to see what kind of buzz is going on before we dive in to the double down action let's take it over to the stage with Ryan Lacoste and Leslie Mears so for everyone here at Sam Boyd Stadium and everyone joining us from around the world at facebook.com slash monster jam let us know who you think is going to be our double down winner and who is going to walk away our fast qualifier now Leslie Mears all roads have led to this point from our four stadium series to our triple threat series. Monster Jam has covered more ground in the United States than ever before, and it's been phenomenal. Amazing to see who has also prevailed as the winners on those tours. You know, I was privileged to be on the FS1 East Championship Series to see Lindsey Wink. It was all the way down to the final truck in freestyle in Detroit for him to take the crown. Todd LaDuke, Monster Energy, reigning supreme. Of course, Charlie Pockin doing the Chucky dance all across the nation as he took home that trophy as well. And so it's always exciting to see those stadiums. But what's been so amazing, especially for you guys who've been tuning in on FS1, is to see the action from all the series across the nation and you guys have covered more ground than ever before it has been amazing as well as the triple threat series and our arena series which it's just been non-stop excitement from guys like Tyler Meninga in Gravedigger who has pretty much perfected a wheelie a stoppie what they love to call a moonwalk and doing it all in one motion too I mean the arena atmosphere for Monster Jam has jumped tenfold this year because of the young athletes and superstars who have gone all across the country. Now, when we think about how we got to this point, I mean, the rigor they've gone through, the repairs they've had to deal with, the glory, the heartbreak, it's just been spectacular. And there are so many different people that are a part of it that you fans don't get to see oftentimes. And I get to see it behind the scenes when you've got a, a vehicle like Gas Monkey Garage that just played with like final, like small little incidences that caused it to the crew to have to crash. And you know, Lindsey Hilgendorf really working hard back there. And BJ Johnson will be the first one to tell you that it's the men and women behind the truck that also keep it running. And there's two crew chiefs for every truck back there in the pits with 47 in the field. And so we've got so many people behind these trucks that make them run so well for all these fans. And if you haven't been to a Monster Jam that this year, go to monsterjam.com, click tickets, make sure you grab yours. Make sure you check back in September for the 2018 on sale. And uh, I want to know, too, from all of the Monster Jam fans in the stands, as we celebrate 25 years of Monster Jam, what are some of the more phenomenal moments they've seen this year as well as over the last 25 years? So let's check into the stands with Michael Navarro and Taylor Mott. Sports since he was six years old. 
Stone, who actually was a champion driving RC monsters, and then got the opportunity, has made the most of it, behind the wheel of Spider-Man. Taking on Nicole Johnson with an off-road background. That includes rock crawling. And now, behind the wheel of the Advanced Auto Parts Grinder. Well, you got to give it to Nicole. She did not let Spider-Man get the whole shot. They came off the line even. Slight lead to the Advanced Auto Parts Grinders. They go to the turn. Whoa, she spins deep. Way out. Both trucks had trouble with the turn, the pressure of the moment, but the truck that recovered first, the driver that recovered first, is Bari Musauer. Spider-Man is the first ever winner of the Young Gun Shootout at Advanced Auto Parts Monster Jeff World Finals presented by NGK Spark Plugs, and this guy has got to be on cloud nine. You can hear the roar at Bari Musauer basking in the support of some of the sport's most knowledgeable fans here in Las Vegas, the first ever Young Gun Shootout trophy is going home. I gotta get down in the middle of this celebration. What does it feel like, Barring? I can see that smile is going all the way from Vegas, all the way up to Canada. You know what, Scott? <laughs> wow. I'm kinda at a loss right now, but you know what? I love it out here. Four years ago, I was a fan. And I'm living the dream now. And I can't thank my crew guys enough, my family, for letting me live out my dreams. And it love, I love Vegas. Oh, wow. We're, really? You know what's happening right now? We are starting the Monster Jam World Finals right here. It's the Young Gun Shootout Finals. That's right. And the winner of this race gets the 28th and final berth in the 14th Monster Jam World Championship Racing Bracket. It'll either be Iron Man and Morgan Kane or Joe Sylvester and Bad Habit. The Young Gun Shootout Championship is green. Bad Habit's right there with him. Matter of fact, it's a slight lead to Bad Habit. And Joe Sylvester nails the turn again. Bad Habit is the Young Gun Shootout Champion. How about Joe Sylvester? I don't think anybody saw this coming. They talked about Titan. They talked about Iron Man. Talked about the ladies. Joe Sylvester came to get the job done. And he and did it. Bad habits going to the Monster Jam World Finals. How about that? I'm stoked that Advanced Auto Parts Monster Jam invited us to come and compete at such a prestigious event. And one of the best crew chiefs in the business, Bobo, busted his butt all week. We pulled some crazy hours to get this truck dialed in. It's been feeling great. There's some great trucks back there, man. With this HD series bad habit with rolling with these rock stars, rigid lights flashing all over the place. It was great running against these guys. I'm happy we came out on top. One of them is going into the Monster Jam World Finals as the third Young Gun Shootout champion. Who you would succeed, Bari Musauer, who won two years ago in Spider-Man, and last year's victor, Joe Sylvester in Bad Habit. Cody Sosie in Monster Energy has been the fastest all night, but maybe the most consistent has been Mike Bonner's the second in Overkill Evolution. Again, he comes off the line a little softer. Monster Energy's on it hard and has a slight lead. Again, it's all about the turn. A great turn by Overkill Evolution. And Mike Bonner's the second is the Young Gun Shootout Champion and is headed for Monster Jam World Finals 15 to compete in both racing and freestyle. He saved his best run for when he needed it most in the championship round race. It feels like a dream. It's my first full year in Monster Jam. And to come out here and dominate a young guns bracket the way how many young talented drivers were in this. I don't even know what to say still. I mean Cody was Cody was awesome tonight. Everybody was on rails and I didn't I just went round by round and had faith in my truck and faith in myself and, and here I am. He and Jeff Zinn will take a big trophy home, but what they want more than anything is a 30-second spot in Monster Jam's World Finals. It's in front of him, but Colt Stevens at NEA would love to seize the opportunity on his first ever competition at Sam Boyd Stadium. And when they're out of the gate, we get this guy to the race. His final round is the hardest round to win. We're going to find out right here. Neck and neck down the straightaway. This is the biggest challenge Monster Energy's had all night. Can he finish the deal? Oh, little, a little wobble, turn. but doesn't it doesn't matter because this truck has been on a rail all night. Cody Saussier 
has powered Monster Energy to the Young Gun Shootout Championship. 365 days ago, I was standing right there where BJ is, where you should have been. Now I'm on top where Mikey was. Woo! You know what? Each and every one of those other drivers out there, I have utmost respect for those guys. I'm no second generation or third generation guy in this business or in the family. Adam and Ryan Anderson, those guys are like brothers to me. I look up to those guys. I'm running with you boys tomorrow, man. It's been a long time coming. I'm stoked. The advantage on the stopwatch all night has gone to this kid, Tyler Minigan, Blue Thunder. He's been faster than Dragon pretty much throughout this whole process. He's just got to deliver again here. And again, like we just said, they both get the lane they want. The one thing that I'm worried about here, Scott Lidicote stays calm. Under pressure, Scott can keep his composure. Tyler, I've heard, I haven't run with him enough, but I've heard he likes to get a little antsy in his, he likes to get ants in his pants more or less when you get pressure. So let's see right here, this will be the storyteller. Can he keep the times where he was at? Because if he did, he's got the numbers to beat Scott. Boy, they are almost even, maybe a slight edge to Dragon. The turn, as always, will decide it. They both hit the turn. What a finish, Dragon wins oh. it. What a race. Linico takes it out. I know that guy is jumping up and down in the cab right now. He is freaking out. He is so excited. He stayed calm and right now is to let all the jitterbugs out and go crazy because he is the Young Gun Champion. I got to give credit to, to Menega. He did not freeze. He did not have, you know, one of those fumbles we see kids do a lot of times when they get to the high level. He gave it all he had. Liddy Coach just found a little extra. Any one of these guys right here could run in that big show tomorrow night, but we were the one that actually won it tonight, so hey, I guess we're going to give it a shot tomorrow. And so you find yourself putting yourself in the big show. You are the first Canadian-born Monster Jam driver to win the Young Gun Shootout here tonight. Oh, I never realized that. That's pretty sweet. So that just makes it extra special then. So you've seen our five previous Double Down Showdown winners tonight. We crown our sixth champion who will be joining us this weekend in the 32 truck field for racing and free sound. As you can see, standing next to one of Monster Jam's legends, Tom Mentz, driver of Max D, the 11-time World Finals champion. Now, Tom, you haven't been in the truck lately, but you've been able to join me on FS1 to broadcast everything Monster Jam's been doing this season. We've had a great time on FS1 together, seeing the talent level, all the great up-and-coming drivers, and the veterans that are doing phenomenal this year. We've had a great time calling the East Series, the West Series, and all three of the Triple Threat Tours. It's been a lot of fun working with you, Ryan. Now, we're getting ready to crown our next Double Down champion, and we also have some that we're going to talk to in just a little bit. What advice would you give to some of the superstars out here that are looking to make this field for the rest of the weekend? Number one, be smooth, be consistent, be a machine up there, you know. For, you know, freestyle is more about being a fan yourself when you're driving, but when you're in racing, you got to be a machine. You need to be repetitive. You need to make the same run every time and just pick away at little points on the track to get faster. And he's not the only one that's joining us here at the stage right now. Leslie Mears also has a very special guest at the stage with us. So excited to be here with Dennis Anderson, especially with you guys celebrating 35 years of Gravedigger, which is just amazing. It really is truly amazing. You know, everybody knows in the beginning of the season, I kind of got knocked down a little bit from a little injury I got. But you know what? Me laying around, looking at social media, and our fans keeping it alive for me, I want to thank them for that very, very much. I got to watch my daughter throughout some of her freestyles. I saw her getting better and better all year long. And now here we are, 35th anniversary. My daughter's here with us, Kristen Anderson, coming to the track. You know, she's in the Double Down Showdown tonight. I'm more nervous than I was if I was in the race myself. But I just want to tell you fans out there, man, thank you people for doing what you do for us, for our family, for Monster Jam and social media, keeping us alive and keeping us, keeping me educated on what we're doing. I was out for a while, but I'm not gone, baby. I'm coming back. And now... We have some of the former Double Down winners in the stands right now, so let's go meet with them and Taylor Mock and Michael Navarro. Mike Vodders, the second overkill evolution. You know, we were watching your video just a minute ago, and that final moment when you were crossing that line in 2014, what was it like for you? What was going through your head and your emotions in the moment you knew home you were taking home the win? 
Uh, it was very emotional. You worked so hard getting that truck ready. We had 11 weeks in that truck. That's all we had practice. Came out here, invited to the Young Gun Shootout, and we took that victory. And when I crossed that line, I beat Cody in the finals, and it was just the most surreal moment. And we just tried to keep the momentum. The next year we won, and hopefully we can get another victory this year. But uh, I can't wait to see who gets crowned the championship tonight. Well, you know, you've got some great fans. I mean, just behind you, you've got this incredible sign overkill evolution um, behind you. He is so cute holding in that sign. So I got to tell you, you know, you've got a huge fan, your number one fan. And we all know who that is, Mike Vodders, the first, I should say, your father. It's got to be exciting competing with him over the years and, of course, having him watch that win. Yeah, it is. I uh, grew up coming to the World Finals, watching all these great drivers, and to be alongside my dad, learn a lot from him, and now he's watching me out here on the biggest world stage we have in our sport. It's just the best feeling in the world. Let's give it up, Monster Jam World Finals 18 fans for Mike Vodders, the second in Overkill Evolution. I am here with the driver of Zombie, Bari Musauer. Now, Bari, you won the first ever Double Down Showdown in 2012. What advice do you have for the drivers who are coming out here tonight to compete in the showdown for the first time? You know, it's a really prestigious honor to be in the Double Down Showdown itself because it puts your career to the next level if you are able to come out on top and win it. So they really have to stay poised. They got to focus. They got to have a good team behind them. And they really just got to be a machine like Tom Mintz said. You know, you got to win four races, you're the champion. Now, you've been invited to the World Finals in 2014, 2015, 2016. What kind of an honor is it for you to be invited to be among the best of the best year after year? You know, it's a dream come true for me. I've followed this sport for 30 years. I came to my first Monster Jam when I was six years old. So you guys can do the math. I'm still a fan, just like all of you guys here tonight. And I can't wait to get out there and strut my stuff for all the zombie fans here tonight. Can we hear it from the zombie fans right now? Let's get those zombie arms going for this guy right here. It's Bari Musauer. You all know that song when it comes on. It's Cody Saucier and Monster Energy, your 2015, look at this, your 2015 Double Down Showdown winner. Here's a solid question because I think a lot of the fans are wondering the same thing. What are some advice that you would give to these young guys, coming, young guys and gals coming out tonight to compete in the Double Down Showdown? There is a ton of advice I can give, but you know you can only take so much. But first and foremost, those guys have to remember to take a ton of pride in what you're doing because you're earning your way into this spot. You're not just giving it, the, giving it up and earn your way into the big show some other way. You're earning that spot. Don't chop the throttle. Stay smooth. If you fumble up, don't give up. That's the best I can give you. Great advice. Now, also, when you were competing, you had to be getting some advice. Who were your go-to people where you got just the advice that you gave to them just now? Absolutely. You know, my biggest peers, you know, Damon Bradshaw, Adam Anderson, Dennis, Tom, the guys that have been down this pass and uh, have turned the number and done exceptionally well. I look up to those guys. Now I'm, I think I'm considered one of those, and I'm very proud of that, very proud to fly Monster Energy. And... Um, it's just a dream come true to be out here. This is my 15th year here. Yes, I've only been driving for a few, but I certainly am proud to be here. Absolutely. Let's give it up one more time. Cody Saucier and Monster Energy. So as we get ready for the Monster Jam World Finals 18, presented by NGK Spark Plugs, are qualifying in the Double Down Showdown. Let's go back one year and check out the highlights from the Monster Jam World Finals last year here at Sam Boyd Stadium.
when the competitors tonight roll through this entrance and head to the starting line, it's game on. They know that they're about to tackle the toughest and fastest race circuit in all of Monster Jam. So to get you up to speed on all the racing and qualifying action tonight, we're going to let you hear from some of the superstars that know exactly what it feels like at each point on the track. To get us started off tonight, let's head over to the starting line with Wildflower's Rosalie Raymer. Hey, Monster Jam fans. I'm here at the start line where every Monster Jam driver's trip down Thunder Alley begins. Something a little different here in Vegas is the Pro Tree, which allows us to stage ourselves. So I take full advantage of that, take a few deep breaths, really slow everything down, because the way you start off the line is crucial to get you down into the chicane where Gravedigger's Adam Anderson is waiting to tell you a little bit more. Hey guys, how's it going? Ready to have some fun tonight? Me too. So I'm going to let you know right now, I'm standing right here in Thunder Alley. There's going to be some people saying, you know, the race is won or lost down there in the turn. The thing is, you got to make it through here. And who better to tell you about the chicane than myself, the guy that ends up normally right about over in this area on the other side of the guardrail, running into a tree. But you, get, you know what? I got that tree planted in my front yard now. I'm past that. We're ready to rock the house, burn it down through here. I'm going to pass it on to my main man, Todd, in, Todd, what is your name? Todd Monster Energy? Thanks, Adam. Noah, uh, that straightaway is super crucial, but this is the point where the race is outbreaked, where you can do a time into the 15 seconds. This is where you're going super fast, everything's shaking, you can see half the things that you're aiming for, but as you're flying down here, this is where you start to lift off the throttle, get on the brakes, rotate that Monster Jam truck, and get to that turn, and hopefully you are ahead of the other guy. What do you think, Becky? You know, Todd, I actually think that this is the most crucial point of the whole entire racetrack. In a matter of a split second, this will make or break your run. Like he said, we're coming down this straightaway 70 miles an hour, so we're getting on the brakes real hard. The trick is to make it smooth and consistent turn without upsetting the truck too much. If you do, you'll probably end up on your lid, and I can attest to that from my own personal experience. So you gotta come out, line yourself up as good as you can with that uh, ramp there, flat foot it across the ramp, and try to beat the other guy to the finish line where your first ever double down showdown champion is standing, Bari Musauer. Hey, Monster Jam fans, how you guys doing tonight? Let me hear ya! Awesome. Well, I am standing on the most prestigious finish line in all of Monster Jam. This is the finish line for the World Finals, and it takes poise, it takes guts, it takes determination, it takes a great team, and a lot of luck, and a whole lot of skill to make it here first. Because if you make it here first, you get to etch your name into the Monster Jam World Finals history books, just like I did five years ago. It's a huge feat, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. So with that said, I got three more words for you. Are you ready? So now it's time to make our picks for our fastest qualifier and the winner of tonight's Double Down Showdown. And when it comes to our fastest qualifier, I have a very, very strong feeling after yesterday's practice that Lee O'Donnell and the VP Racing Fuels Mad Scientist is going to take the number one seed going into tomorrow's racing bracket. Now, for our Double Down Showdown winner, I'm going to go with Matt Pagliarulo and Jester. Super fan to superstar, and I kind of have a soft spot for him because last year at the World Finals, he bought me a cupcake for my birthday. You are all about the sugar, aren't you? Well, for me, for my picks for fastest qualifier tonight, I'm going to go with Mark McDonald, El Toro Loco. Mark was the only competitor in the field last night to log two times in the top 10 last night, both 16-1 and 16-3. So he's bad, fast, consistent out there of all of our competitors. For the double down showdown tonight, though, I'm going to go with Camden Murphy. He's a guy that has lots of racing experience, although it be in NASCAR and asphalt track. And he said he felt like he didn't get enough laps in yesterday, but with every lap he gained confidence. He was also the third fastest of those double down qualifiers and one of the highest picks to win at monsterjam.com now let's see what leslie and michael think who they think are going to win th tonight here for our double down showdown 
Well, I will tell you my pick right now, but it's not about me. It's always about the fans. But I will tell you right and now for the Double Down Showdown, my pick, Cynthia Gautier and Monster Mutt Delmation. She had the three fastest times yesterday in practice. So my guns are going for her. Now, fastest qualifier, Neil Elliott in Max D, fresh off the FS1 West Championship Series. He led the way on the point series until the last two shows he was very consecutive throughout the tour but like i said it's about the fans and i want to know who your picks are what's your name dale all right dale who do you think is going to be fastest qualifier todd leduc todd leduc do we got some leduc fans out there all right bud what's your name jackson all right jackson who do you think is going to be the double down showdown winner kristen anderson and gravedigger gravedigger fans all right, and who do you think is going to take home the fastest qualifier tonight? Kristen Anderson. For the big guns? I gotta go with Adam Anderson. Adam Anderson, all right. And for you, Double Down Showdown. I got Camden Murphy, Pirates Curse. And fastest qualifier? I'm gonna go Tyler Duke, Monster Energy. As you can see, it's across the board here in the stands. I've got Michael on the opposite side. I know you fans have some different conclusions. When it comes to the Double Down Showdown, it is all about Tristan England. He had seven racing wins in 2017. He had the fourth fastest time yesterday in rehearsal. So it's all about Tristan England and the Double Down Showdown for me. And as far as the fastest qualifier for the Monster Jam World Finals, I'm gonna have to go with Tyler Meninga. He had the second fastest time last night. So my bets are on that. But of course, it is all about the fans here at the Monster Jam World Finals. Who are you thinking as as far as your fan prediction for tonight? Ryan Anderson, son of a digger. All right, fastest qualifier, Ryan Anderson. What is your fan prediction? El Toro Loco. El Toro Loco fans, all right, we've got a couple friends here from Colorado. What do you think, who do you think is gonna be the fastest qualifier? Monster Mutt. Monster Mutt, okay, it's all over the board. And we've got some brothers here all the way from Peru. Now, what are you thinking for the Double Down Showdown? Max C and Neil L. Okay, all right, all right. And what do you think about fastest qualifier? Who's going to take it home? Grave Digger. Grave Digger. It's all over the map with these fans. So many predictions. Everyone's so excited. We can't wait to get this double down showdown on the road. Those are all some great picks from our fans. Don't forget for everyone joining us around the world at Facebook.com slash Monster Jam that we want to know who you think is going to kick this weekend off big. And for everyone joining us around the world, thank you for finding us on Facebook and Keep checking back to our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter pages for more coverage from the entire weekend of the Monster Jam World Finals 18 presented by NGK Spark Plugs. It's time to set our 32 truck bracket for tomorrow's racing and crown our Double Down Showdown champion who will join us for the rest of the weekend on those quests for the World Finals racing and freestyle champions. For Leslie Mears, Taylor Mock, and Michael Navarro, I'm Ryan Lacoste. Tomorrow we'll be back at 8.35 on Facebook at facebook.com slash Monster Jam leading up to our racing bracket. But stick around because you're going to be a part of our patriotic tribute, the national anthem, and we will let you see the intros for tonight's Double Down Showdown. So again, 8.35 Eastern tomorrow. Make sure to check back for more coverage from the Monster Jam World Finals 18 presented by NGK Spark Plugs. Michael and Nicholas here in the stands. You know, I love learning how many times these Monster Jam fans have come out throughout the years. You've got some newbies in the house, and you've got people who've been coming for every single year, which is incredible. But you got to tell me so far, this is the second time you've both been here. What are you expecting tonight? Oh, it's going to be crazy. I don't have a true favorite. I just love it to death. I just root for them all. He has a favorite. He loves Blue Thunder. He's Blue Thunder. You like Blue Thunder, bud? Yeah, I like Blue Thunder the most. I want him to win today. I want him to take the trophy. He wants him to take the trophy. Okay, so 
you, amongst these fans here, do you feel the the passion and the drive and the energy from everybody around you, and it's just making you extra pumped up? Oh yeah, this is awesome. It can't get any better than this. <laughs> it really can't. I can't agree. It can't get better than this. This is Monster Jam World Finals 18. He's ready for Blue Thunder. Las Vegas, there are heroes walking among us. They may not always be in uniform, but they are always ready to protect this beautiful country. Some are here with their families tonight. Some are in our memories, but all of them are in our hearts. Please take a moment to thank them for their service. And right now we would like to honor those brave men and women. So would all active military, veterans, and first responders, please rise. Thank you for your service. God bless our troops, and God bless the United States of America. Presenting your colors is the Las Vegas Metro Police Honor Guard. Please rise and remove your hats for the singing of our national anthem by Rock of Ages, Paul Johnson. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the This is how it's gonna be This is what you think of me It's going down like I told you This is how it's gonna be I'll be the last man standing here I'm not going anywhere It's going down like I told you I'll be the last man standing here I'm gonna rock you I'm gonna rock you I'll have you begging for my 
mercy, begging for mercy, oh. Damn World Finals Double Down Qualifying starts right now. This is the first of two qualifying rounds for the 16 Double Down Showdown competitors. Each truck will make one pass in each lane with the best time from those two runs being used as their Double Down Showdown qualifying time. The round one racing matchups will be based on those times with the fastest qualifier earning the number one seed in the Double Down Showdown bracket. Double Down fans, are you ready to fire them up and start qualifying? In the yellow lane, 